How's Welcome it going? to Local Rock Talk. And uh, we have a uh, divine shame. Driven sane. Driven sane. Driven sane. Driven, Driven sane. sane. Driven sane. Yep. Dot com. All right. Before we get this going, I'm going to do an announcement first. All right. May 13th. It's going to be right here. Uh, it's going to be two bands playing. Heavy metal. It's going to be um, Doc Roots and Slick Shocks. And plus my 40th first birthday, May 13th. Doors, 5.30 p.m. Then 6 to 8 p.m. for the show. You're going to celebrate same time. So don't forget, May 13th at the studio. All right. Now let's go for the questions for you guys now. Right on. Sir. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First question. How did your band start? Jeez. Uh, I guess what? It must have been about two years ago. We uh, got together. Um, I guess, you know, uh, whether we're neighbors or related or responding to an ad on, on uh, the internet, we got together just, you know, decided to start making music. It was, uh, it's, it's been an awesome trip. Yeah, Tomaj is uh, actually my next door neighbor and we, uh, we, we started uh, a band from a band and you know, we had a little side project and uh, you know, we, we came together and you know, did this idea of you know, you know, putting together a, a band with no bosses and, and uh, you know, really create the rules and, and where we wanted to go with, uh, with the band and it's, uh, you know, it's turned out pretty well. Awesome. All right. Um, what other bands have you played with? Well, there's been uh, quite a few now. What we've been uh, playing with uh, a great band uh, called Dead Harrison. Uh, in fact, we're uh, uh, this coming April, um, uh, April 5th, we're playing a uh, show with them in, in uh, Lowell. So definitely uh, check that out. Uh, the first uh, tavern. Yeah, the Thirsty First yeah. Tavern. Um, and so we've played with Dead Harrison. They're an awesome band. Uh, there's a whole been a whole bunch of others like, uh, uh, like Order of the Serpent. We've also played uh, with uh, Heavy Metal again. Uh, oh, really? See. Awesome. We, uh, I, we played I with uh, Potsy. We played yet. with. Um, in fact, we're playing a show with uh, actually another show in uh, on May third. Uh, it's a, a little. Um, you know, a, a benefit for uh, homeless homeless vets in the area, and uh, we're uh, going to be um, doing a show with a bunch of awesome bands. One of which we played before with um, a band called Precipice, yeah, a uh, local yeah, cover Precipice, band. That's just yeah. they're they're awesome. You know, we've uh, you know we played actually our first shows with them. Um, you know, last year and uh, before that, and you know it always seems like we do shows together. And it's always a great pack of guys to do that with. Yeah, so. they're a, group, a good group of guys. Yeah. Awesome. Check out the bands what they're talking about. Absolutely. All right. Um, of course. Sir. Okay. How did you pick a name for the band? Well, kind of uh, interesting story. It kind of happened like suddenly, right? Like we were yeah. just kind of brainstorming ideas, and um, we ended up settling on driven sane because we felt like it, it was a really good name that kind of had like that kind of you know uh the kind of play on words of being driven insane this you know driven sane and and uh, we felt like it was a, a very good title um a very good name for a band for this day and age you know it's uh i think it's uh it's, it's perfect yeah, yeah. And we all we all got together and we brought together our ideas and uh you know it really just took us away from uh from from all the things in the world that weigh you down and you know when we play music you know, the synergy that we all uh, try to create really it really takes you away from that, you know, the, the insanity of life. So we're driven sane. Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, at least for me, it's it's always, you know, and I guess for everyone that, that plays in a band, it's, music is kind of a, a level of escapism. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of uh, what we like to bring. Um, you know, we like to do a nice blend of uh, modern metal sound with kind of more of like atmospheric kind of jam, kind of like uh, Pink Floyd or even something like uh, The Dead. You know what I mean? Like, uh, we like to kind of really open up, our, open ourselves up to, Basically, when you come see us, it's a live experience. Yeah, we're kind of jammy. We got some heaviness to us. Um, a lot of our different elements just come into it. I'm the newest member of the band, so I just bring my elements to it, and it's just become so awesome for us so far. So, awesome. 
So what do you guys play anyways? Uh, I play guitar. Uh, by the way, my name's Will. I play guitar. Dimash, the bassist. Uh, I'm Alan. I play drums. And I'm Sean. I'm also on guitar and vocals. Awesome. Are we doing vocals as well? Yeah, all, we yeah, all. Yeah. Combined. Sorry about that. We, no, it's, it's all right. We kind of just fell all into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. we decided, yeah. you know, for now we could just be our own vocalists. And we yeah. work with a lot of great people along the way, but, you know, there, there are some that don't want to, you know, be a part of the brotherhood that we wanted to create. And, you know, it's, it's nothing personal. Yeah, it's just, just band. Cool. All right. Um, okay. How do you choose, you know, like, skip that question, never mind. When did Wait. you first start playing music? Are you self-taught or did you take classes? I'm a combination of both. For most of my life I was self-taught, but it wasn't until, I would say about five or six years ago, I really started picking up lessons because I wanted to learn more about guitar. And so, um, yeah, I'm definitely a little combination of both. I am self-taught, but he's also my mentor right now and teacher for some. Of us I, um, I started lessons on the drums about maybe when I was 15, 16. Um, I took lessons for about three or four years, and then after that, everything else is just self-taught. And I just, I love, I had a thing for the drums and stuck with it. This guy plays a mean trumpet, too. <laughs> <laughs> I learned to play the trumpet for like four or five weeks in, uh, in fourth grade, but... <laughs> I did too on weekends. <laughs> okay. I know that. I did on Monday. I play saxophone on Sunday. What is your main goal for your band? Where do you see yourself in the future? It's honestly, it's it's to have fun. It's to make music exactly. and to play, have fun. Play out. You know, we, we want to play out. We want to. You know, that's that's our efforts. Like you know, we come to practice and we and we all get together. Not you know not just for you know for band business, but you know we get together to have fun and you know we we want to play that out so people get to enjoy it just as much as we do. Yeah, we'd we'd love to. We're open to going on tour sometime, having like a local tour, you know, like something like that, and just you know playing out, having fun. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, like I said, you know, it's it's about that experience of going to a show. That's like I think it's something very special. And so it's, I can't recommend it enough, so. Also working a little bit in New York, but that's in the works, so. <laughs> See your friends. All right. Okay. Um, I have some. What is some of the music you grew up listening to? Uh, well, it's, it's kind of a departure. Uh, to be honest, I grew up listening to, uh, you know, uh, Notorious B.I.G. and Puff Daddy <laughs> when I was really young. Um, <laughs> the 90s. Oh, yeah, the 90s. He was big for that, you know. Uh, you know, uh, it's, but then eventually, the for some reason, I was just always driven towards something heavier, you know, whether it was alternative rock when I was, you know, in my, in my teens, uh, or now, I'm, you know, really big into metal. You know, it's just... It's, I guess it's an, it's, uh, it's an ever-evolving cycle. It's that eclectic mix that I, I think that, that helps create a lot of great music is that you have uh, a lot of influence from different songs and you know, it, really, it really shines through in a lot of your work because of all of that like, different influence and different feeling that it brings. Definitely. I, uh, I grew up on a lot of um, like, uh, even classic rock. Uh, my parents were big on Queen, U2, um, even Pink Floyd, stuff like that. I grew up The Police. I'm, uh, Huge police fan, and uh, even now, um, when I grew up in high school, started listening to metal stuff. You know, um, Mudvayne, Static X, right. Lamb of God, Kill Switch Engage became one of my favorites. Um, so my my range is from anything classic rock to even some soft rock stuff to alternative punk. I bring all that to the table and creates an awesome style. Soulfly and Acid Drinkers, right here. It, it tastes oh, like I saw so so fly. Nice. Two awesome. years back uh, when they played in Lawrence. Nice. They played in Lawrence, no way. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. we saw them nice I was ago. in front. I got photos of them playing. Nice. That's what's up. I'll find a photo, show you guys too. 
Cool. Because I got I got a picture of of Matt Singer, the stuff like that. Well, he's incredible. Yeah. So I saw him play. Mark's cool. I show you the photos sometimes. Why not? Yeah, definitely. Joe's a tribe, right? (laughs) That's what music is about. About tribe. That's what we're trying to create here. A tribe. Uh, Our own tribe. All right. For a younger audience, how can you explain the feeling of playing a live set in front of your fans? I think, you know, I think uh, it's it's all about the experience of actually attending a live show. You know, it seems like, you know, a lot of um, a lot of people growing up that are young nowadays, they don't seem to really, you know, have that same appreciation for going out to a live show as you know maybe uh, older generations do, and which I think you know is a. Uh, you know, it's 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 too bad because when you go to these shows, well, it doesn't even matter who it is. You know, if it's a, you know, a great band. You know, it's when you go there, you have a great time, and it's you get to leave that world behind you. You know, no one. You know, I don't think anyone wants to always be in uh, the kind of that that constant flow, the constant you know wave and tide of everything going on in the real world. You want to have that moment where you can it's decompress. Yeah. yeah, but putting yourself so, out there in front of the crowd. You know, I mean. You know, being able to to get over that that fear, that the initial fear that you have of you know performing in front of someone else and you know, you know expressing yourself in that manner, and it's it, it definitely you know it breaks barriers, and you know you learn a lot, and it's uh, it's an experience. Well, also about the fans, you know, it's you know when the fans like in, in the audience when they are watching a show, you know, like like I've been to you know countless shows where it's just you know you're, the the entire vibe of the evening, whether you know you're. Uh, you're having a drink, or you, you know, you're just you know in the mosh pit, or you're just you know hanging out in an orchestra yeah. section. You know, what I mean, like there's there's it's it's this captivating feeling that I think music has, the the live experience does, and I think nothing can replicate that. So it's all pretty much about the energy. Yeah. You come with the energy, yeah. you give the energy, and we get the energy. Playing so. live, it's it's so exhilarating. Like it can get stressful too, but when you get up there and play, it's like it's just it, it releases. You know it, everything, and it goes by in have. seconds. It, you know, it's it's instantaneous for me. Yeah, you know, at least it, it, it's like it doesn't even happen. Yep. True. It's like a dream. Oh yeah. You walk into a dream and you just wake up. Oh yeah. Really done? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> now we're gonna play more. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. That's good to know. If you can choose your dream lineup, what bands and artists? Would you be playing with? Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> so fly. So fly, yeah. Um uh definitely this uh, one band I saw recently, uh Astronoid based out of Lowell. It's an awesome band, awesome band. Very good. Uh, I'd love to just if we were on tour with um like Kill Switch Engage or, or opening for a band like that I loved and grew up listening to, that would be really cool. It'd be seven dollars all the way for me. Oh, awesome! Yes. Yeah, that'd and be awesome. I'd, I'd be totally down to play with seven dollars. That'd be cool. And acid drinkers, Polish band you should try, heavy metal. <laughs> acid drinkers. Even like Tool, we're on tour and like open for Tool or something like that. That'd be sick. Uh, that'd, be that'd, be, that'd be an honor. Yeah, that'd yeah. be yeah. Awesome. No way. Yeah. Oh, Neil, yeah. before that show. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Tool. All right. Um, Hold on. How is your fan base doing? So far, it's doing pretty well. I think uh, you know we uh, we're growing it slowly by day, and it's all about playing shows. You know what I mean? It's uh, we're actually a really a relatively new band. Uh, we've been playing together for about two years, but this project, um, you know, this driven sane project uh, that we've been doing uh, with you know with us has been really only around for you know about a year, and yeah. so you know. Um, you know, it's all about kind of getting out there on social media, kind of getting out there and playing shows, and yeah. you know, it's you know, it's staying true to ourselves, yeah. like o- originals. And yeah. it's cool because uh, me and Sean are cousins, so we have a, a big family, and uh, you know, we always hit up our family to come see us at shows and um, extend our fan base, and um, it's really cool. Yeah, even uh, my 84-year-old Nana uh, came to one of our shows, uh, one of our Halloween shows. Shout shout out heavy to metal, Nana. grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Nana. Yeah, awesome. yeah, shout out to Nana. She I think she almost was in the pit. Yeah. 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 She, she gives pit. everyone a hack to her, right? Yeah, <laughs> she was, she was going to be up in there rocking. Yep. No, that's good. 
when did you start writing music? For me, I guess, I always took stabs at it when I was younger, but I think it's been about the past four or five years I've really gotten an interest in it. You know, because, you know, it's, I was always, for, for years, when I first started playing guitar, I, you know, I'd pick up an acoustic and I'd learn some John Lennon tunes or something like that, and, you know, it was like the really easy stuff to kind of get into when you're first trying to play an instrument, and, but then, eventually, that, you know, the desire to keep learning other people's material was just wiped away, and it's now, it's just been, you know, for years now, it's just been about, you know, for myself, you know, for primarily for myself and for us, you know, that when we play together, we just want to make music that we enjoy making, you know, it's for us, and Hopefully, if the fans enjoy when people go to our shows and see what yeah. you know what we have, you know, hopefully they enjoy it as well. But you know, at the end of the day, it's it's about doing what we love. And we're constantly learning and progressing. You know, we're, we're mm -hmm. listening to our sound and you know, changing the things that you know that, that we feel that you know would work better. You know, w with what we're trying to go for, and it's it, it becomes a you know it becomes a nice little challenge. Yeah, I've only been in the band uh, since like November, and. Um, you know, a couple months ago, we already wrote a new song. So, I mean, we're we're coming along, new stuff like almost writing new stuff every night. So, and it's about that connection between us. You know, yeah. Yeah. like if I, I'm I'm convinced if bandmates do not have that connection, I think on that you know that next level where not only are they comfortable around each other and are you know good friends, but people who can actually create together and create something else together. That's you know that's I think that goes a long way. And uh, yeah. I've had nothing but you know an incredible time with these guys. You know, I, I joined these guys. Uh, you know, um, you know, a couple of years ago, two years ago now, um, yeah, uh, responding to an ad on Craigslist. You yeah, know, just on the just, idea. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like a marriage in a way. You got you're married to each other, but Everyone it's like that. you know, it's <laughs> a, it's a, yeah, it's, a it's an adventure. You know? yeah, it's, it's an adventure. It's like it's like a bond. Yeah, learn each other. Yeah. It's a brotherhood. But that's you know? life, you know. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's life. So it's you gotta be true. You gotta bring us to the table, and you know, just as long as we have together. fun, yeah. it's all about having yeah, have fun, fun. Like we come together, have fun. Everybody's. And heavy, metal. <laughs> and heavy metal, yeah. <laughs> All right. Where is the best venue you play that? Oh, <laughs> that would be <laughs> the charge question. Oh, there was the um, the venue down in um, in, in Manchester. Um, I, I would say the Osha. Nice. Yep, yep. We played at um, we played at Chit Chat. That was a uh, you know good venue. Now it's uh, what is it? Whiskey Moonshiners. Moonshiners. Yeah, Moonshiners. Right before closing. Um, yeah. yeah. So Red Alliance was a pretty neat experience for me. We actually played yeah. in a uh, Nashua and Bowling Alley. Yeah, yeah we did the Halloween show that it year. It was awesome. Yeah. 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 It was a show hosted by Dead Harrison, and it was yeah, awesome. Our friends, yeah. they, you should have them on the show. They're really great. Where is uh, our first show at that place in Manchester when I joined? Um, yes. Yeah, it was right across that from was probably. Alley. Yeah, right across from Bowling Alley, a uh, place in Manchester. I mean, since I've been in the band, that that probably be one of our, that's the Bungalow, bungalow yeah. Bungalow, yeah. That's probably bungalow, one of our best yeah. places, just because I just joined the band. That was our first show. It was actually a pretty nice place, too. Um, really good vibes there. Yeah. Uh, I played at a place a long time ago, one of my other bands um, called uh, Out of Asia. Um, I'm sorry, All Asia. And uh, that was really good, and they tore it down. That was one of those older clubs. Um, well, that was cool. Sadie's and Salem. Sadie's and Salem, too, yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Dude, out of me, just like a Chinese restaurant. Trying to think of... Well, well, <laughs> anyways, um, what equipment you use when you play live? Well, um, as for, like, specifics, like gear, like, you know, different brands, things like that, or...? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, uh, something like that. Right now, I'm using um, a... Uh, John Petrucci model uh, music band, uh, an Ernie Ball music band. Uh, it's a seven string. Um, and I'm just uh, going into um, a, a Morgan amp, uh, which I use as my clean channel through a pedal board. And that goes into a custom uh, Avatar 2x12. So. I use ESP uh, five string bass with Behringer 3000L. It's only 300 watts, but that's good enough. Packs the punch. Packs the punch. Yeah. Nice. Um, I have a. I have a DW drum set. I uh, love DW, um, PDP gear and stuff. Uh, huge fan of Zildjian cymbals, love Zildjian cymbals. Um, and it's just, uh, it's all over my stuff, yeah. If 
Oh, you're looking at me as if I, I don't know if it's your turn. Oh, it is my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I do what, what I, I, I'm playing a seven string. I use a Marshall for uh, for my my head. Um, I've got a metal core pedal, uh, also a boost. Uh, this this guy right here, uh, he writes some pretty uh, pretty nasty riffs, and uh, made that switch from a six string to a seven string. It's more versatile, you know what I mean? Like yeah. and flexion um, on the bass, it's awesome. It's a whole new world because it's um, different sound. When you play, uh, like I, I you know, obviously you learn on a six string, you know what I mean? Like, um, and uh, the seven string really became popular amongst like what Steve Vai and Corn in the '90s and things like that. And and it just seems like ever since I've latched onto them from various bands that I've been interested in that play them, it just adds a, a greater level of versatility to playing. You know, like you don't have to you know, have several guitars that are tuned differently because you just have it all there naturally on the uh, on the guitar that's all laid out for you. And it just has a great chunky bass sound for that seventh string. That's actually so, edge. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, uh, nice, uh, nice, nice lowness to the sound. Hmm. Cool. All right, let's pop in a last question right here. Sure. If you can describe that Glenn, of the music you play, what would it be? I'd say what? I guess generally it'd be alternative metal. Slush, little gem, I would say. Mm. Uh, yeah, I love it's very unique. Yeah. It, it, has, it has its own tune to it. We have a lot of different elements no. in, in, our, in our sound, so um, we definitely have like jammy elements, but then we have that, that metal, that like hard rock. Um, There's always hard alternative a rock time. in there. But the um, important thing is that we all allow ourselves, everyone puts the creativity in it. Yeah. Yeah. There's not one guy or one singer that we, we start singing all, uh, so we all write songs and we all sing. And yeah. So it's our baby, you know. You know each practice has that time to you know, really do different things with it and see what sounds right and kind of play with it a little bit. And Yeah, I'd say alternative metal. I would just right. say like alternative or slash metal, alternative metal, yeah. Go. It's a good general category, I think. Yeah, you know, it's it's, yeah. it's not too specific, but it's you know it's uh, it's certainly not the metal of you know Metallica and Iron Maiden and things like that. It's something yeah. a little bit more modern. Because the alternativeness kind of brings that like different element to it. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool if we start new genre? <laughs> of metal? That's what you try. I mean, it yeah. Depends. Well, there are many genres, so I'm sure yeah. it's possible. Jam metal. It'd be like jam metal or something. I'm like pretty sure there metal. is some jam metal. Yeah. We'll have to yeah. up on uh, Wikipedia or something like that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we'll look up with them. Yeah. All right, let's walk on for that. Right on, <laughs> hell yeah. Thanks for, having thanks thanks for coming thanks. on, too. Yeah, thanks Absolutely, thanks, thanks for having us. Cool ones. Like I said, um, check out Thank their band on Facebook. Yep, you can check us, uh, sorry, facebook.com uh, slash Driven Sane Band, and uh, that's basically our main contact to go to. Yeah. So give them a like and support them, and watch them rock out. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Rock on. Metal. <laughs> All right, so um, anything else we have to talk about? Well, that's it. <laughs> Just check in, make sure. Well, I had no more questions, so. <laughs> right ahead. What do you guys want to talk about? I think, Our uh, humble beginnings. <laughs> uh, I want to give a shout out to. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Tomas for um, yeah. having us having us at his uh, humble place. Um, yeah. You know, driven practicing Saint driven Saint Lair. Uh, you. you know, he's very he's been very good to us. Um, oh. And uh, <laughs> so I just want to give him a shout out. So the only time you'll ever hear that from nice. I know. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm going to take it. Well, I place. take it, man. <laughs> Might have a court improvement now, you know? Yeah. I'll get you a certificate oh, of... Uh, Remember, we have uh, documentation of this, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> For future use. <laughs> also, if you would like to experience something really new and out of the box, you should come see us, definitely. The first show, IPRO. April 5th. 5th, I'm April sorry. 5th. Oh, it's all right, man. And Thirsty First in uh, Lowell. It's, it's free show, <laughs> and it's going to be it's a surprise show to a couple of bands, and we're going to do surprise, too, outside of the there's box. A, it's going to be outside There's a the couple of bands yeah. playing, uh, Dead Harrison and ourselves, but uh, there's also a couple of mystery bands as well, so it has a nice little 
Uh, kind of, uh, it's like a dark rock kind of thing. And we're going to be show. involved in something. We're not, you know, it's a mystery, so we don't want to. It's a mystery. Tell all the details. So it's going to be an awesome time. Talk too much, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Too much, too much, too much. And then we have one coming up in, uh, in May as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a good cause for yeah, the VFW in, uh, in Salem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, you know what I really like? I like four wheel drive cars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me too. I, I know. The winter day, awesome. I can't yeah. believe, like, like Paul, so you got to agree with me, man. Like, there's no way that you can have a car in New England and have either rear wheel drive or front wheel drive. Like, what is, what's up with you that? Put an equipment in there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've seen. I've seen too many people waste their money on that stuff, man. Just, yeah. But if your car is light, drive. you know, you can you can move, but yeah. you, all yeah. four tires are going to be moving when you're going to stop. Well, mm -hmm. The thing, once the once the snow hits. Those two rear tires aren't going to do you any good. Well, you're going to fish that. He'll no. His, his tires were like bald as fuck. And they yeah. Were, oh, yeah. I, I had super bald tires <laughs> for a while. It, it, it was I, I was dying laughing. It was so funny. They were so bald. And I had to get my car inspected, too, because that, that expired in February, like, I believe. It was like a little yeah. baby's head. Like, that's how bald <laughs> it was. Oh, yeah. You can practically see, like, that, what, that mesh under, you know, you almost see underneath. Oh, my you know, God. The, it was bad. You couldn't even put a panning on it. Yeah. Actually, there was a... <laughs> Driving through the snow was terrible. So, I mean, I have four-wheel drive, but I might as well have re had rear-wheel drive, to be honest. So, that was, uh, that was not a proud moment for us. It wasn't yeah. a proud yeah. moment. Yeah. Transmission worries. <laughs> how, how, how do you like being in a band, Sean? I like being in a band. Kind of fun. Yeah. yeah even though, uh, you know, hey, I, I get a lot of crap, but... I love it. Oh, yeah, we haze this guy. I asked stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm a behind the scenes kind of, you know, guy that just, you know, I, I get what I, uh, what I get coming to me. For him, it's like Rush Week every week. You know, it's <laughs> just, you know, yep. it's, 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 he gets it all. So. Yeah, hey, you know, you know what? Everything's an adventure, and uh, you got to have fun. We, we come from different, uh, you know, all from all different backgrounds and uh, professions, and, you know, we can come together and do this. It's, it's cool. pretty awesome, you know. Yeah. It's not an obligation, you know. It's like we, we, if you're not gonna have fun, we, it's like don't come to practice. It's, you know, this yeah. is this is something that you, we want you to be here. You you, you want to be there, and that's that, that's what makes the team effort so much better. You know, it's it's fun. At the end of the day, we gotta be brothers. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. What I mean, is. like I, I come um, all the way up from uh, just outside of Boston uh, and to yeah. Derry every uh, every week just to practice. You know, He's good get captain. our stuff. Yeah. And uh, don't touch him. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah, so, for, I mean, you're, so all you wanted to talk about was four wheel drive. That's it. Well, it's a very important issue. <laughs> I mean, it is an important issue. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. No, you're right. It's especially my health. It's an important issue. Get your transmission yeah. Where we people. play, man? Yeah. Forty five degrees hill. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta drive up the steep hill every time we go to practice. And you people know, got stuck. You, you oh can my just god. If you don't, have, down you don't have four wheel drive going up that hill. I mean, you're. Screwed. I slipped on it you're last screwed. night. I mean, I've seen so many people fall down that hill. Yeah, twice so far. Three times. That's bad. That's bad. Give a My quick shout out awesome. to, uh, I want to give a quick shout out to video games because uh, video games. <laughs> shut down. Okay. <laughs> that, that is it for this episode on Local Rock Talk. And don't forget, May 13th, it's going to be at the studio. Doors open 5.30 and, and the show 6 to 8 p.m. So. That's the host's 41st birthday. Nice. Awesome. So, 41, too. You might do it. 78? No way. Yeah, 1978. So, um, like I said, Doc Roots are all first. If there's slick shocks, I'm all last. Cool. Thanks a lot. So, hey. anyways, that's it for this episode. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Thank man. you very much. Thanks, Thanks for Thank having us. Driven Saints. Yeah, rock on. Stay, Stay safe. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk with your host, Paul Zabrilli. Until next time, keep on rocking.